didn't think I would become a fighter at all. When I was a kid, um, I didn't want to be a pro basketball player, a pro football player. That's all I really did. You know, the hardest part about fighting was probably the day to day grind. I work hard every day and, um, you know, it never ends. I got kids and family and I miss out on a lot of birthday parties with friends and um, situations where they call and invite me and say, hey, you know, we're doing this for that. And I'm always turning down invitations, you know, left to right. And, um, I think sometimes it feels like you're letting them down, but you. You almost want to let them down outside the cage because, you know, I don't want to let anyone down in a fight. So that's probably the hardest thing about fighting for me is missing out on all the, the stuff uh, in life that all my friends and family are doing while I'm training and working hard. So excited. So you know you're getting presents. You don't have to get up and go to school. Mm -hmm. I ended up going to the gym, getting shape one day. You know, my buddy Little B was telling me that you should come and train. You know, you kill most of these. And I was like, you know, whatever, I get put up not too big into it. I started gaining a little weight, getting out of shape, so I went in. I tried it out, I've been doing it you know, eight years ago, I haven't stopped since, so I'm in love with it right away. Was that here in Arizona? Yeah, Raising the Cage, Raising the Cage Training Center. The Rolling Sahara was the first place I ever started training, you know, I've been all over the place since. But, you know, I just love competing, love the challenges, and love working real hard, so just fit right in. Where'd you get your uh, nickname from? Yeah, my nickname actually <laughs> I got from my old boxing coach. His name is Joe Lagan. Uh, when I started getting pretty good at boxing, he started taking me down. Well, I thought it was good. He started, after a while, he started saying in between rounds, like, why, why does it look like you're pulling your pistols out of your head? You stupid pull up. So, like, I'd be, a, you know, Sadly, I got it from poor technique, and you know, after a while, they just started calling me Polish Pistola. I started getting a little better, and they started calling me Polish Pistola, and then, you know, yeah. stuff. Yeah, you know, I mean, I like it because um, I feel you should earn a nickname. A lot of guys give themselves nicknames, so I think you should earn it. You know, I definitely earned that one, and uh, you know, my grandpa and, and my great ancestors took a lot of crap for being Polish, you know, they came over from Poland and a lot of people hyphenated or abbreviated in their name back then to, you know, get jobs or whatnot. And, you know, they kept their name, they're proud of their name, so I'm proud of being Polish and, you know, I, I kind of dig it because it's kind of after me being Polish and, you know, even though uh, my grandpa never saw it, or, you know, I never fought before my grandpa passed away, I know he would think it's pretty good cool too, so I like it. What are you talking about? Yes, you can. 